So we, since we started the studio, we have always wanted to write or create our own musical. We've done it before and we'll do it again. We announced a while back that we were going to uh, shoot for summer of 2020 for... Which we did on purpose because... We, we you, can't do we, anything without a deadline. Yeah, you like lock yourself in and then you're like, oh, I guess we're doing that now. Which is kind of what this video is. <laughs> um, it's forcing us to actually do the work. Yes, we're doing all the work. Yeah. So a lot of the shows that we pick for our older kids in the summer are kind of boy heavy. Right. right, so um, we've done Joseph. We've done lots of boys, guys and dolls. Lots of boys. We've done Newsies. Lots of boys. Lots of boys. Yeah. We sat in on Newsies auditions and saw all of these amazing girls. And by the end of Newsies auditions, we just kind of looked at each other and we were like, "Where do we put them? They're so good." Yeah. And so we started looking for, scouring for the right show that would really put them at the forefront. And we yeah. just we just couldn't find the right show. So we were talking, we had actually a lot of ideas about what musicals we wanted to write. It opened the door for that kind of possibility, but then... Uh, yeah, it was like a light bulb had gone off. Yes. He comes downstairs and he says, I think I know what we should do. And I was like, what? And I said <laughs> it, <laughs> and I said it, and I remember your reaction, you're like, that's I, a great idea. And, and I was like, why have we not thought of this before? Right. Why has that anybody thought the, about this before? That was the big thing, was yeah. like, why, have we not, why did it take so long for this idea to find us? So, uh, I'm sure you're curious as to what the idea is. Well, so, maybe not. Maybe they're like, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe they don't care. <laughs> maybe they don't care. The idea is this. So, we've landed on the girls of summer and we're writing a musical about the Rockford Peaches and about the AAGPBL, which is the all- I can't believe you know though. I have to think of it every time. The All-American all Girls Professional, Professional Baseball, Baseball League. League. Yeah, <laughs> we're in Rockford. This is where we've chosen to raise our family. This is where we've chosen to put down our roots and we love this community. So how cool that a right. major historical uh, thing happened in our town. Um, so we've landed on that. It started with Philip Wrigley, the guy with Cubs uh, in the 1940s. And the chewing gum mogul. Like yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. Um, and he went around to all the other owners and they thought it was a horrible idea and he tried to get backing and he couldn't find it. So um, he decided to, to go out on his own, grabbed a couple people with him and, and, and sent scouts all over the nation, um, even to Canada, to find- To the, form this league. To find the best women's <laughs> Uh, softball slash baseball players where they would mm -hmm. form this professional league of of uh, women baseball players. The thing that I love about it is here is this group of girls who, they were in factories, they were building parts to keep things going overseas. And here's this opportunity for these women to step up and do something that before they'd never really been allowed to do. Right, the, the whole story is just rich with some fantastic fodder for, for songs, drama. for musicals, <laughs> yeah. for dramas, for yeah. comedy, for entertainment. So we're super excited about being able to bring that era and that, um, that event uh, to the stage. Right. Yeah. Um, so what is this musical going to be about? I think the story itself, we're going to focus on three main girls, um, mm -hmm. but there's going to be this whole... I mean, a huge group of, of secondary characters. Well, the whole team. There's 15 people on the team. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's nine people that play, but 15 on the team. So yeah. I don't know how many we'll actually have. And then opposing players and, and all these little secondary characters and yeah. love interests for these characters and the whole managerial, you sure. know, the coach, the chaperone, the yeah, charm yeah, yeah. school lady. I mean, we have all these characters yeah, figured it's out. Be super fun. You know, so there's a lot of really cool. I think dramatic moments that mm -hmm. can happen just because of the way things were historically in that era. Yes. That's really different from the way things are now. Sure, the relationship between men and women, right. for example, is, Very is a lot different. The expectations that were put on women were a lot different. So if you can imagine um, a, a woman newly married who gets a chance to try out for this baseball team and she's from rural mm -hmm. Pennsylvania, but they tell her she has to go to South Bend, Indiana to be on this team, leaving her husband when her husband doesn't want her to go, um, kids uh, that were super young but really good at baseball. Now. A lot of them left high school to go and, yeah. and, and play, and they were making more playing baseball than their fathers were making in their factory. Yeah. So. That 
uh, era juxtaposed against also the backdrop of the war mm -hmm. um, allows us then to, right. to get a little right. thick with the relationships and the conflict. And There was. There was a lot. I mean, most of these girls had somebody they knew that was overseas. Yeah. A brother or a loved one or a spouse or, yeah. you know, like there were... There were friends, just it was it affected everybody. So mm -hmm. it will definitely, which is why we're choosing to focus on those first two years because right. that's really interesting. I mean, yeah. I, I've always kind of been a World War II buff, so that's really super interesting. I think. Yeah. What we are hoping to do, um, just because we think it will be super fun, is to kind of mm -hmm. chronicle this whole thing from the start to the finish. And yes. So you'll see, you know, along on our social media, you'll see us brainstorming and you'll see us coming up with the ideas and mm -hmm. the music and the song. You might see us like laboring over Seriously, sketching <laughs> talking out. Talking to ourselves. Yeah. Sketching and, out costumes, like yeah. deciding what set pieces we want to do, like from front to back. Right. We won't, uh, we won't tell you everything. So, summer 2020 is the girls of summer. So, I hope and we hope that you will join us on this journey.